are you most beautiful and most amazing top tenors? How are you doing today? I'm Rebecca Felgate and once again we're getting kinda spooky as we talk the top 10 creepy abandoned ghost towns. Now many of these places have a decaying beauty and are truly fascinating to many, including me. To others, they are downright terrifying. Let's get started with our list, shall we? In at number 10, we have Witten Noom in Australia. So Witten Noom was Witten doomed when the health risks of asbestos were discovered. This small town, nearly 700 miles north of Perth in Western Australia, was Australia's only supplier of blue asbestos. Shut down in 1966 due to the health concerns surrounding asbestos, Witten Noom is now a ghost town. Formerly there was a population of almost 10,000 people, but now just 6 residents live here, still refusing to leave. They initially ran a campground, guest house and gem shop for passing tourists, all of which have fallen into disrepair. Wittenoom still stands, although the government of Australia doesn't want tourists to visit, so has removed all of its signage. If you do find your way there, you may see many buildings from the 1940s to 1960s era in various states of decay. Plus, you'd be putting yourself at serious risk from asbestos inhalation. Next up, I feel a place that a lot of Call of Duty fans would absolutely love. We have Cope Hill Down in the UK. Creepy, yes. Abandoned, kind of. Ghost Town, most definitely. Cope Hill Down is a Bavarian style dummy village built in the Wiltshire countryside in England as a simulated backdrop for army training. So, just to reiterate, this is a full size model village with cars and decorations, etc., used by the Ministry of Defence to practice shooting people as a response to war and terror threats. Is this creepy or cool? I guess both, kind of. When the MOD isn't here training, it just stands there. Totally abandoned. In at number 8, we have Hashima Island in Japan. So, you may recognize Hashima Island off the coast of the Nagasaki Peninsula in Japan as the lair of villain Raoul in James Bond's Skyfall. I mean, if villains are literally hanging out here, it must be creepy, right? Right. The island had a population of just over 5,000 at its peak in 1959. Many people living here were working in the undersea coal mines. As the coal supply depleted, many left the island by 1974, leaving behind some buildings which are actually fully intact today, including a 1930s apartment block. The abandoned town has featured on many TV documentaries such as British Channel 4's Life After People and 3Net's Forgotten Planet. Also used in James Bond's Skyfall movie, the island has gained a lot of attention, and now you can even explore it in all its creepiness and abandonedness on Google Street View. You can even go in the abandoned buildings. In at number seven, we have Pyramiden in Norway. Pyramiden means pyramid in various Scandinavian languages, and it's an abandoned Russian settlement on an island off the coast of Norway. Originally founded by Sweden, Pyramiden was sold to the Soviet Union in 1927. Closed in 1998, Pyramiden was a coal mining town with a over a thousand inhabitants. So, according to scientists, the abandoned buildings will still be visible 500 years from now due to the low rate of decay in the cold climate. So, many people call Pyramiden the abandoned city at the world's end, and from pictures, it certainly looks like it. It's also a very dramatic location due to its mountainous backdrop. I would actually really enjoy looking around out here for like historical interest. Apparently, there are many pro Lenin pieces of propaganda still existing in Pyramiden. In at number six, we have Villa Epicuan in Argentina. This is such a creepy one. So, Villa Epicuan was a tourist resort near Buenos Aires, but unfortunately, it flooded in 1985. Now, this meant that many homes and livelihoods had to be abandoned. Disappearing into the water, Villa Epicuan became a sunken town, lost to the perilous tides. However, the waters began to recede in 2009, and now, after a drought, you can see more of the town emerging from the water than ever. 25 years after it disappeared, it began to re-emerge, only this time white and stripped of paint, and a lot of quite possibly irreparable damage. The trees have even died after their time away from the sun, leaving ghostly, chalky looking twisted roots and leafless branches withering in the ground. Rusted cars and dislodged bathtubs litter the banks of the water, but really, it actually looks like a really cool place to explore. Creepy, but cool. 
Keeping it watery at number 5 but taking it back a few millennia, we have Lion City of the Qiandao Lake in China. In 1959, the Chinese government decided to flood a valley in order to build a hydroelectric power station. Now, this meant sinking the ancient Lion City, with parts of it built in around 200 AD. Some of the architecture is still standing underwater today, and it dates back 1,300 years. Now, divers can explore this eerie and still almost intact city 131 feet below the surface. Next up, a ghost town with a very sad and blood thirsty history. In at number 4, we have Belchite in Spain. So Belchite in Spain has a history of bloodshed. Having experienced two historical battles close to the town, in 1937 the Spanish Civil War came to the village. Over the course of two weeks, from August 24th to September the 7th, 1937, Franco's forces fought the Spanish Republicans in and around the town. Now this led to scores of dead and much destruction. A new village was built nearby, leaving the old village as it was following the war. Hauntingly abandoned with decaying buildings and rusting cars, there is even a beautiful old church with a fallen in roof that looks totally fascinating. This has even been used as film locations, including the really eerie Pan's Labyrinth. In at number 3, we have Orodeur sur Glan in France. Amid the Nazi invasion of France in the Second World War, the village of Oradan, Seglane, was the subject of a bloody massacre. On June 10, 1944, SS soldiers destroyed the village, killing 642 of its inhabitants. Now, there was one sole survivor of the attack and 20 escapees. The SS rounded up the men and shot them in a barn, whilst they burnt the women and children alive in a church. Then French President Charles de Gaulle ordered that the village remain intact as a memorial to those who lost their lives. Tourists can now visit the remains of the town. In at number 2, we have Spinalonga in Crete. Spinalonga is a Greek island off the coast of Crete with a very checkered history. Formerly part of the main island of Crete, but carved out during Venetian rule, Spinalonga has been invaded by both the Venetians and Turkish troops. Re seized by Greece by the end of the 19th century, Spinalonga became a leper colony in 1903. Basically, this meant that all of the people who contracted leprosy nearby were torn from their loved ones and were shipped off to live and die on the island. Now, Spinalonga is a Abandoned, but the buildings stand in partial ruin. The last inhabitant of the island left in 1962, leaving behind decades of sadness which tourists can still feel today, ringing through the empty houses and churches as they take tours of the island. So we have reached the number one spot of our creepy abandoned ghost towns, and what can it be than the sad story of Pry Piat? In Ukraine. The Chernobyl disaster is one of the saddest man caused disasters and the most disastrous single nuclear accident in history. In 1986, Pry Piat was evacuated after an explosion and a fire in a nuclear power plant released large quantities of radioactive particles into the atmosphere. So it's really not that possible to venture here as the risk of radiation is still very high. With a prior population of almost 50,000, Pry Piat was evacuated in a day. Now this left hospitals, railways, homes, restaurants, shops and amusement parks in total abandonment. Now 30 years on from the disaster, the elements have started to claim the buildings, with grass and trees growing through them. This radiation ravaged city looks set to stand as a sad reminder of the disaster that ultimately claimed over 4,000 lives. So this was the top 10 creepy abandoned ghost towns, and I have to say, I'm strangely fascinated by so many of these places, I'd actually love to go and visit them. Would you guys like to visit any of these or would you steer well clear? Also do let me know if I missed anything off this list, do you know any other creepy abandoned ghost towns that I should know about? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm Rebecca Felgate, this has been Most Amazing Top 10, you guys can catch up with me on social media, I've got Twitter, I've got Instagram and my own YouTube channel Rebecca Felgate Official. But for now, if you like this video, give it a good old thumbs up, share it with a friend and of course make sure you're subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10 and I will see you creepy beauties next time.